Let's talk about the dangers of ultra-low fat diets. I'm talking about a diet that the fats make up only 15% of your total calories. The diet that I recommend has fat making up about 70% of your total calories. Now, why is that? Because there's a lot of things in fat that we need. Fat-soluble vitamins, essential fatty acids. Fats are needed to make structural parts of our tissue, including all the cell membranes. And that's why they call certain fats essential fatty acids, because fats that you need that you have to get from the diet, your body can't make them. All right, number one, you're gonna get a decrease in the fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A, D, E, and K. And the consequences of these deficiencies are very vast. Vitamin A, immune system, vision at night, vitamin D, immune system, keeping viruses in check, keeping your inflammation down, helping calcium be absorbed, vitamin E essential for the heart and for hormone health, vitamin K to help you stop bleeding, also vitamin K2 to transport calcium out of the soft tissues. All right, number two, risk of mental problems. Your brain is mostly made out of fat. Your nerves are insulated with a fat lining. So if we don't have the structural components for the brain and the nerves, your mood suffers and your cognitive function suffers greatly. All right, number three, increased risk of cancer because you're not gonna have the essential fatty acids to help your immune system. All right, next thing is decrease in HDL. That's the so-called good cholesterol. That usually goes down with an increase in triglycerides. Number five, when you decrease dietary fat, a person will automatically increase carbohydrates. Not a good combination. And by the way, Americans have already tried the low fat, high carb diet for years, and we know it just does not work. All right, number six, you're never gonna be satisfied. You're always gonna be hungry. Not a good combination if you wanna stick to any type of healthy eating plan. All right, number seven, if you actually lower your fat, and raise your protein, it's really hard on the liver and the kidney, and it will also increase the spike of insulin. So you always wanna consume the normal fat that comes along with the protein and not do lean protein or low fat protein. All right guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget to click on this next video on the quantities and the types of fat you need to be consuming.